so we're actually just outside of Columbia County today on Plimpton Creek. And uh, looking online, it seems like there's a ton of drop-offs and falls and some, uh, yeah, pretty cool water stuff that happens here at Plimpton Creek. So we're going to be exploring it today. We're going to drop down into the creek as many different places as we can and see how many different falls we can find and maybe get some uh, cool wildlife on the way. So starting off, this road has been dead for a long time and we're just going to take a little way down it and then start bushwhacking. It's going to be a steep drop down into this creek. I know video never gives it justice, but approaching 80% slope down. Yeah, but can definitely hear the creek below us. which is always a sign that there is some uh, rapids or waterfall below. Just getting a peek of it down through the trees. Making our way down. Definitely some rapids below us. Well, that's where we came from. We're down below on Clifton Creek. Older trees down here. And a cool mountain coast range stream. Now we gotta go find one of the waterfalls. Should be around uh, one of these corners. A little drop but it looks like the main waterfall up here is downstream so that's where we're gonna go after we check this one out for salamanders there's a baby Are you sure it's a giant yeah. you can see this beautiful seep habitat right here and right where the seep is dripping down Marvel corn salamander. Well, we got slightly cliffed out along the creek, so we're gonna have to jump up onto this ridge with some older trees. To see if we can get a little further downstream and find the waterfall. So we found a true old growth tree. This thing's a couple of uh, 300 something years old, at least. It's a monster. Got an old tow rope around it from when they logged this back in the probably 50s or 60s. We'll get a closer look. Real butte of a tree. There's another one next to it. True old growth. Well, we are coming over to the top of this waterfall. We thought we missed it, or it was just one of those smaller ones. But now you can see there's this whole basalt shelf, that's why it's so open. And there's the horizon line, so the waterfall is below that. So, standing at the top of this waterfall. This slide and then plunges down, probably about 
20, 30 feet. It's the most incredible bowl of a salt drop in here. Really cool. Don't want to get too close. Further up above, I think we found the way down. All right, we made it down below, a bit treacherous of a walk. Pretty slick along with the salt moss, but really cool water. Lots of this uh, towering canyon in here. We tried to find a way up from there to get up to the car over there, but this is basically a knife. And on the other side of that knife's edge is that. And, uh, through the old growth, we're deciding to go back up right here, take the ridge line, and uh, hopefully it'll get us over to the end of that dead road we found. We got back onto the ridge line, and uh, following it up, Sooner or later, you always find a game trail. That helps a lot. Eureka! We have found the dead road. Now we just have to walk back from here. So it looks like we're finally making it back to the car. We've completed stage one of the day. It's already two o'clock. Past two time is slipping away, but let's see if we can get to stage two. Backtrack a little bit, go downstream, and find some more waterfalls.